what's up guys so i just literally got back in from checking out angry black girl and her monster and let me just tell y'all this i really enjoyed this film this was a very good film i want to say congrats and heads off to bamani j story the guy who wrote and directed this film they said this is his directorial debut the brother did a really good job with this film now i'm going to go into my details why i said what i said about this film number one the story this uh film is an adaptation of mary shelley's frankenstein and not only that but they decide to modernize it it's about a young girl by the name of vicaria who is a genius and she's obsessed with death and i wouldn't say obsessed with death but she just has this thing because death has been around her uh as a young girl she lives in the inner city with her family and at a young age her mother got killed and then her brother got killed and she was just tired of all this death just being around her and she decides to uh do something about it when her brother gets killed she decides to bring him back from the dead and we all know as they said in pep cemetery they always don't come back the same and that's what happens in this movie she brought her brother back but it's not her brother who she remembers and that's when all hell breaks loose but the way that he put the story together how it uh focuses on this young girl her surroundings and everything that's happened around her for her to say i want to uh do something about this and the way it was written the story was on point i love the way how he put the story together and modernize it about what's going on what's happening in the world today especially with our people so i love how he did that number two the cast everybody in the cast did a really good job but the young lady layla d leon hayes who played Bakaria, she really did a damn good job in this lead role. I'm telling y'all, she is definitely somebody that you need to be looking out for because she played the hell out this part. And the thing about her acting in this film is that even though you didn't agree with what she did, but you like okay i understand why she did it and you felt connected to her you felt connected to what she was going through you felt connected to why she did this and just how it all was affecting her and when you can make a movie where you connect and feel connected to the characters that really says a lot and not only her, but the, the other cast members uh, in this movie did such a great job. But just with her, man, she did a great job. This girl is a star, and you definitely need to be looking out for her. I'm telling y'all. Number two, the suspense and the horror in the film was really good. Number one, the cinematography, this film was shot very, very good. And the suspense in here was really good. Now, we've seen horror films where they have like these little cheap jump scares that doesn't do anything for you. It's like, eh, okay, whatever. This film didn't have no cheap jump scares. It just kept you on the edge of your seat from beginning to end. And as it got further and further to the film, it really just had you on the edge like okay what's going to happen what's going to happen next and not just so much as with the monster but just with the actors in the film you just was just glued to that screen and you just wanted to know what was going to happen how this was going to pan out the next thing is the uh kill scenes 
there was some pretty, how can I say this? Not say, let me take that back. There was some emotional kill scenes in this film. Okay. It wasn't just regular kill scenes. They were emotional kill scenes where they made you feel some type of way. It wasn't just, okay, this person, the monster comes in to kill this person. It comes in and this person gets died, whatever. The scenes was emotional scenes where it made you feel some type of way because you connected to all these characters. And when you saw when it was time for them to die in the film or when it led up to them dying, you just were like, wow. And you was like, oh, no, not. And it was just, you just, you just felt connected. And that's why it goes back to what I said with the writing. And I always say this in all my videos is that your writing has to be on point. You can have great actors, but if the writing sucks, it's not going to go anywhere. And in this film, the acting and the writing was on point. It all went together. The only little thing that I was uh, upset about this film was that it was limited in theaters. It went to some theaters and some theaters it didn't go to. I just felt like that they could have just made a push to put it in more theaters. But, you know, that's another conversation. You know, but if you guys why is in the theaters right now, if you haven't seen this film, I recommend you guys to go check this film out because you would not be disappointed. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed because this film, uh, to me, it was actually better than some of the horror films that's been out there so far. Because we have some horror films that came out that were like, eh, okay, whatever. We kind of know what's going to happen. It was very predictable. This film was unpredictable because you didn't know what route they were going. When you think it was going to go this route, it didn't go that route. It went someplace else totally different. And that's what caught you off guard in the film. So I'm not going to go too deep into the film because you all know I don't do spoilers on my channel. But you definitely need to check this film out. If you don't get to the theater to see it, check it out when it comes on streaming. So it's a really good film. So my uh, review score for the angry black girl and her monster on low, medium, high, I'm going to give this film a high. Because I just love how the director writer story how he took mary shelley's frankenstein and modernized it and put it together in a way that um was very what's the word i'm looking for it was very connected from the story to the characters to the audience is that when you watch this film you felt connected well, I'm going to say you felt, but you was connected to the story. You was connected to the film. You was connected to the characters. You was connected from beginning to end because you wanted to see what the turnout and how the end was going to be. And I loved it about films because, let's just be honest, we haven't had a really good horror film in a while. Now, some people might beg to differ, but I'm just going to be honest. We haven't had a good horror film in a while because... You see now it's just let's just do a reboot or a remake or a reboot or a remake. That's all they've been doing. But nobody's really taking the time to really say, OK, let's try to do something original or let's just take something and go another direction, another route with it to where people can understand and people are going to love it. And with Bahami's story, what he did with this, as I said, he did a really great job with this film. and. I'm going to say it again. If you guys haven't seen this film, you need to check this film out. You know, you can watch it on streaming, but I suggest go to the theater and see this film so you can get the theater experience of this film because you're going to walk out the theater just shocked and entertained and just with a wow on your face. So go check this out in the theater while it's still in the theater. Now, I don't know how long it's going to be in the theater, but it's at the theaters now, but it's limited. So check your local theater to see if they carry this film and go check it out. Also, 
this is a good date night film as well. So, like I said, hats off to everybody who was a part of this film. They did a very, very good, great job with this film. So, I want to hear from you guys. You let me know. Have you seen this film already? What's your thoughts about it? Or were you um, talking about going to see this film or you wasn't sure? You know, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know and stay tuned.